No, uh, it, it was an, an honor to be nominated as uh, one of Fresno's top 40 under 40. Um, you know, on a daily basis, uh, our company builds homes, and I get to see, you know, our customers' faces light up uh, when we give them the keys to their house. Um, but you know, it, it's very uncommon to see uh, myself get honored by somebody completely outside of our organization. So, to me, it was a true honor to be recognized. Uh, for me, uh, what really gets me excited and you know keeps me moving is hearing the stories of our, our homeowners. Um, you know, when they get the keys to their house and they move in and, you know, we get letters back from customers that have been in their home and just love it and they're, you know, they're living their lives and, and building their families in our homes uh, and our communities. It, it just is truly heartwarming and it really, it just makes you feel good and it, you know, makes it going to, makes going to work really easy. You know, I never uh, expected uh, being honored as uh, a member of 40 Under 40, and when I was notified that I was uh, uh, being recognized as being a part of class of 2007, it was a huge honor because I know there are thousands upon thousands of people that fit into the age category of 18 to 40, and uh, for me to be chosen, uh, chosen was a huge honor for me. It was a huge honor for me. It, honestly, it, it, I was surprised. Um, I think for me, I go about my my work day to day um, and, and I don't really have those types of awards and, and that kind of recognition in mind when I'm doing my job and so when I was told that I was being um, in included in that in the class of 2007 I, it was a truly a, it was a surprise and an honor especially when looking at some of the other um, inductees uh, that were accompanying me and I felt I felt very privileged. Kind of like I said before, I'm only going to be under 40 for about six more months, so it felt damn good, and I was real proud that I was that I was chosen one of those 40 under 40s because I had worked so hard to become one of the best people in Fresno, and not just in athletics, but also giving back to the community, and I've been able to continue that through my fitness boot camps. One of the things that drives me uh, as a person is I love to compete. Um, I enjoy challenges and right now with the way the economy is, things are very difficult. Uh, for Cure, we've had to downsize a little bit and also in the city of Clovis we've downsized as well, cutting almost 20% of our personnel. But at the end of the day, uh, challenges present opportunities too. So I enjoy looking for those opportunities, looking for um, um, competition, ways to compete and always trying to better myself. So that really drives me is uh, uh, trying to do better um, and always looking for those opportunities that exist even in challenging times. Even though we have uh, this recession that we're in right now, we're seeing a number of entrepreneurs that, you know, people who've been late, uh, let go from their jobs who are going out and starting their own businesses. And I think it's critical for myself as an elected official to be a facilitator for them and allow them opportunities to, to thrive because this next wave of entrepreneurs will be the ones that hel helps to kickstart our economy moving forward. My boot camp, it's not just about making people fit on the outside, it's about making them fit on the inside. We do a lot of blood drives. I'm a big, big supporter of the Central California Blood Center, and I've always said it's better to give blood in the bank than in the ring. You can see my picture there. Um, we do work with the sanctuary, and that is a, um, a home for runaway and um, homeless kids. We've done some donations. When we've been able to outfit a, a room there so that if a kid comes in, they have up to 21 days to, to get some help and to get back on the right track there. And we've done a lot of personal um, charities and fundraisers for people just in our boot camp alone. I had a um, sheriff's deputy that was just um, diagnosed with esophagus cancer. We found out it was internal. And we did our own Make-A-Wish for him and his family. He has three children. He is fighting the crap out of this cancer. And uh, he's, he's really he's doing a great job right now. We're able to send him to Disneyland for four days and three nights with his family. And that's based upon donations from my boot camp alone. Being a family business um, and what the future lies, um, you know, to me, being a family business uh, really means a lot because it was started, you know, generations before me, and uh, to carry on the torch uh, from, you know, some of the great people that built built this town, uh, it really means a lot to me. I, I really do feel that home building is a, a an honorable profession, and uh, to be able to carry on that torch uh, really means a lot to me. It really exposed me to a lot of the, um, some of the um, uh, other classmates of mine, um, people that I maybe had heard about. A lot of people who, quite honestly, I, I hadn't heard about. I'm not, I'm not from Fresno, so 
um, to be to be included in those types of events um, really is helpful for me to kind of continue my um, my expansion of, of the people that I know um, within the business community here um, and so I think for me to, to be a part of that and to have a chance to, to meet those people and, and, and really start a lot of uh, a lot of relationships because of it was was truly was truly a help and, and it's one of those things that carries on to this day. Businessstreetonline.com uh, is it, it's great for me because it's providing me with updates about what's going on downtown and, and around town that uh, I don't have to think about it. It just it comes to me and I see it and and I don't have to go in search of it. It, it comes to me and I think that to me that's the biggest the biggest asset. Uh, that it provides for me because obviously I'm, I'm wrapped up in the day-to-day -day operations here at the ballpark um, but to get those updates and to, to be able to keep in touch with what's happening um, outside outside of the stadium is truly um, you know an asset for me and, it, and it's a great tool and it's something that I that I truly value. Sure. I'm really looking forward to April 1st uh, meeting the class of 2009 and I'm looking forward to attending and meeting some of the, the previous graduates of the 40 under 40 uh, group as well people who've received that honor in the past it's a great opportunity to network I would encourage you to come on out have a good time network with folks and I'm looking forward to meeting with you. One of the things uh, I'm always cognizant of is there's many activities, many things taking place uh, in the Fresno community. Business Street Online is constantly sending me updates, things that are happening right here in the community, and that's been very helpful for me so I can keep my pulse on the community and be aware of what's going on around me.